Hi, my name is Andre, and I'll be talking about Antonio Salieri. The instruments he studied were the violin and harpsichord with his brother. He then moved to Venice, where he studied with the Giovanni Battista Peschetti, and stayed there for his entire life. After the death of Gassman, Salieri was appointed by Emperor Joseph II to be court composer. At this time, he also met his wife, Therese von Helfersdorfer, in 1774. With her, she had, he had eight children. He became pre president of a Society of Musical Artists from 1788 to 1795, and vice president after 1795. In the late 1780s, Mozart's music became extremely popular, and people were forgetting Salieri's music. So after Mozart's death, there were allegations towards Salieri which ruined his reputation, but he denies killing him, even being close to death. After Salieri's work is being forgotten, it was revived in the late 20th century due to the film Amadeus. In this film, Mozart was displayed as a genius, while Salieri was displayed as the antagonist where Mozart always one-ups him. Salieri was placed in an, in an asylum due to his mental and physical states, near, nearing the end of his life. At Salieri's funeral, his, he played his own requiem for the first time. Salieri wrote, Salieri wrote classical pieces of music. The instruments used in his operas were usually organs and a piano. He wrote about 45 operas in his entire lifetime, and his most successful operas were Armida, Le Sculolua de Gelosi, and Der Rochefenkerer. Salieri's main impact on music was being a core music director and teaching many students. He also helped to develop many features of opera compositions and had great influence on well-known composers. Salieri was also a teacher and he had many famous he taught many famous composers, including Beethoven and Mozart's younger son, Franz Xaver.